Cracking down on street racing. San Antonio police say an increase in arrests and car seizures has led to less street racing in what's known as takeovers. But city and police are exploring stricter punishments and fines to deter others in the future. The night team's Patty Santos tells us why they're looking to the city of Dallas for help. Texas cities are cracking down on street racing. Houston police this weekend confiscated vehicles and weapons. San Antonio seeing its own takeover events in parking lots. What they're doing is they're setting the, the ground on fire and then they're, they're driving, they're doing donuts in it. Every star on the map shows areas where San Antonio police say they've seen street racing or takeover events since September 2020. Police Chief William McManus says with more than 100 arrests, 200 citations, 69 vehicles towed and weapons taken away, they're sending a message. The word on the street is that don't go to San Antonio because you'll lose your car if you do. He's now looking to Dallas to beef up enforcement. In May of last year, that city passed a law that went after spectators and seized racing cars. The assistant Dallas police chief says it's working. If you're at, at, at a scene of one of these events and you're out there cheering them or you're out there watching, filming, whatever, uh, you're, you're um, given a citation. He says in seven months, they've handed out 700 spectator tickets, towed 650 vehicles, and made 1,200 arrests. We've had individuals have been killed as a result of these takeover events. The community has made it very clear that they want us to do something about it. San Antonio Public Safety Committee members Wednesday said they want to see more data, hear from impacted business owners and legitimate car clubs before they determine if that extra enforcement is needed here. One car club president supports stricter rules. I think that if you are a local from within the community and you're supporting it and participating in it, there is a consequence to those actions. And the chief says they are looking towards a Senate bill that would increase the penalty for those involved in street racing from a misdemeanor to a state felony, a year in jail, and up to a $4,000 fine. That bill is in committee right now. Steve, ECs.